Hey everybody, Tommy Crooked River Forge here. Uh, just getting back to the workshop after spring make. Freaking awesome. Um, you guys have probably already seen all that. But uh, I'm getting ready to finally start on my um, recreation of the bow that I won Forged in Fire with. Um, I got my limbs material here, two pieces, 1095. Uh, I got my new handle material that I'm going to use here. This is some. Uh, African Kiat. It's beautiful wood. So that's going to be my center part of my grip. This will be the part that attaches. Um, not sure if you guys saw what I did last time, but I basically took some all thread, um, recessed the nuts up inside these tubes. I'll cut this in half and make two pieces. Um, TIG weld this together inside there so that this threaded rod will thread right up inside. And that will make my steel takedown bow possible. And uh, for decorations, I'm going to use some brass again, and I'll do some leather stack. And then uh, I'm actually going to probably use a little bit of liner material just to color it up a little bit more. So, uh, oh yeah, I got my uh, horseshoe knuckle duster ready to go. And that should be about everything I need. kind of taking the burr off the inside of these pieces of tubing number one because it's really sharp number two because it'll interfere with the fit up when I put my nuts inside there <laughs> Both of the slots cut. I made them the same length. Now I'm going to go and uh, clean them up on a grinder a little bit. I'm going to cut my limbs down while I'm here at the station. Use my plasma cutter and away we go. Alright, so here's where I'm at so far. I've got my little insert. I had galvanized nuts. TIG welding does not like galvanized, so I sanded off all that coating. Got my knuckle duster ready to weld on. And I got my pieces fit up, and I want to keep those together because they are kind of matched up. And uh, what I'm going to end up doing is welding my nut inside sooner than later so that I don't lose uh, the ability to get that thing in there once I heat it up and start pounding on this thing to make this fit right in here because I want to flatten this out. I thought about just welding it as is and leaving that little space there but I don't think I'm going to like that. So. I'm gonna heat this up, flatten these down, and then I'll probably be able to uh, just weld right here along the circumference here of this, not really circumference, but uh, this horizontal plane 
that we're gonna have there and if I need to trim this this back some I can so that's where I'm at after today um, got to get back on some knife stuff more handles to glue up um, I think it's going pretty well so far um, it's way more relaxing just being able to build it and not be under that that clock uh, even though it was what four days five days something like that at your home shop um, being able to do it my own pace listen to my music that's what it's all about happy place all right so i'm starting off day two putting in a little more work on the uh on the bow project so what i'm gonna do is uh i got these pieces fit up pretty good and uh, i'm going to tack weld this piece to this piece so that when i take it and put it in the forge and start forming that together it doesn't move on me uh, I want it to be dead center in the middle of there and then I'm also going to go ahead and, and weld my nuts <laughs> set it again weld that inside of that sleeve right there and uh, that'll all be copacetic so when I go and start pounding on this thing when I get it hot I don't deform it to the point that I won't be able to get that nut up inside there so that being said here we go. Welded up, nuts are inserted, welded. So this guy goes in here and we'll get screwed down. To a point. And then I'm gonna be drilling a hole through that block of wood. And then I gotta have room for my uh, my brass stack, so I'm gonna do brass on each side, just like I did with the other one. Maybe a little bit of leather. Um, but yeah, it's coming along pretty smooth. So the next step that I'm going to be doing is um, I'm going to heat these up and pound this down and try to make it blend in with with the the limb a little bit. Um, so depending on how that goes, um, I'm probably going to end up running a little bead of TIG all the way around the circumference of that piece just to make it look nice and purty. Um, but I think it's going to work out pretty good. So uh, I will probably leave it at that. And at some point i got to weld this guy on. Before I do that, I'm going to make sure this works so that I don't end up having to 
you know, if something goes wrong, totally scrap one of these pieces. So I'll weld that on last but before I heat treat. And then we'll, uh, we'll start working on the, the limbs and getting those pounded out to where I want them. I gotta make them a little bit thinner. And uh, I'm gonna work a little taper down this way here. And then do that ornamental twist on the top so that I can uh, get my bowstring to, to seat in there. So that's where I'm at currently. <laughs> 